ask them to bring it free will offering mm -hmm. those who will do it willingly mm -hmm. a willing offering yes and they brought so much for the tabernacle mm -hmm. yeah, tell that he to said stop, stop. Yes. I said wouldn't we believe in that God. you believe in for that I, I believe in God for that in Kissimmee <laughs> yeah. Listen, we don't need no more there's too much money just take it back wow yeah <laughs> Me too. I, I, I want to say the same thing in Augusta but I tell you Miss Dorothy yeah. uh, I, I, our, our ministry is, is another testimony <laughs> um, when, when, when me and my wife took over the ministry um, we had like probably from 10 to 15 people, all young people. The ones that were working, they had low paid jobs mm -hmm. and kids. You know what that wow. means. Me and my wife lost everything. Yeah, I, I think you. somebody needs to hear this. We lost everything. Wow. Yeah. Okay? Everything. Been there. Lost mm. everything. Many people were saying to me, God didn't call you to pastor. You were doing uh -uh. fine. You were doing good. You made a mistake. And, and oh. I spoke to my wife and I said, baby, I felt, you felt it in, in your heart, in my heart. This was God. Mm -hmm. This is our sowing season. Amen. God will make a miracle happen. Amen. We went to a place wow. um, to move out of, of a little house that we were renting at the moment. And the uh, owner told me, I want this much a month. I believe it was $1,700 a month. And mind you, I had lost my car. The house was, was going away, everything. And we just had a few people. We believe God. And I told the owner, listen, I'm going to lease this place for one year. Because the Lord told me it was going to be full in one year. So I'm, I'm only going to lease it to you for one year. Guess what? Two months, late, uh, two months before the year was over, we were packed. Mm. Yeah. From six, seven, ten people, we were packed. Mm. I remember those days when I would go and play the guitar. Jackie would preach, or she would get the offerings. I will preach, and we were just a you few people. You took the offering from each other, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've been yeah. there. <laughs> and, and what God did, yeah. we move out one day. I'm with my wife. We, we needed to get out. We had $20 in the bank account of the church. Uh -huh. First three years and a half, we didn't have no paycheck. So people that believe that pastors are making money. Yeah. No, we had five years. We have here. to sow. Nobody we have to go through it. No, wow. And, and I told my wife, look, did, look at this building. It's, it's empty. Mm -hmm. and, and they wanted for $5,000 and $500 a month. And I said, let's call. We had $20. <laughs> $20. No credit. Crazy people. And you should have offered them $1,000. Yeah. No, let me Do tell you what I did. Do ridiculous things. The place got cut off on fire and everything. It was totally destroyed. And I called. Um, and we spoke to the owners. And I said, listen, I have an offer for you. I'm going to give you $2,500 a month, and we're going to fix this thing. We're going to put it real nice. We're going to be here three years, and then we're going to leave because it's going to be full. The same thing. They laugh in my face, but they give it to me. I don't know how, okay? That was in, in May 2010. We fixed the place. We rent the next, the next building, which is seven rooms for kids and offices. Now we have two services. They're packed, wow. okay, yeah. of people. Right. God spoke to us and told us, open an English-speaking service only in the morning. And I'm like, but God, we're in America. There are so many English-speaking churches. Exactly. And he said, no, I, I'm refreshing. I'm wow. breaking barriers. I'm Hallelujah. mixing my people. I'm breaking racism. I'm breaking the cultural oh, you know, yes. barriers. Yes. And you will see what I'm going to do. Our ministry exploded. Now we're looking to buy a property and build a building. We okay. believe in God. Wow. Let me tell you something. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Amen. Amen. And Jack, you just butt in any time because you've been sitting here so quiet. I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> She's a real preaching machine. Oh, yes, but she is. Without, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Amen to that. And a lot of people, they wait and they wait and they never get out of the boat. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you got to jump out of the boat. You got to believe what he says. I don't want to go to that now. We got to believe what he says. That he says that everything that he put in your heart to do, he'll make it happen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, Russell and I walked for eight years with the Wooden Cross around America. We didn't have a bank account. We didn't have a credit card. We didn't have any money. We just trusted him. And I can remember, I mean, it was day to day. But the thing is, he never failed us. Amen. 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 And then when he told us to come here, he used to tell me while we were walking that cross, he used to say, one day you have to trust me more than you do now. And I thought, 
how mm. can I trust you more than I do now? <laughs> now it's for millions, guys. Mm, yes. And Amen. Um, you just have to know who he is, yes. that he's God, and he can do this thing. Amen. And I challenge you because God's going to do some big things. Amen. Amen. You just, Did you hear that, people? Yeah, big things. Amen. Amen. You know what you do? Every week, pass out faith scriptures and put, Father, we just all together agree that Amen. this land is ours, bought and paid for. Amen. Amen. We all together agree that the angels go out to the places and they bring that money in. Amen. It's not about you. No. It's about Him. Amen. Amen. And getting the about gospel his kingdom. out. Yes. yes. It costs money to run lights. Yes. Exactly. It costs money. Try and call Channel 12 and ask them what their monthly budget is. <laughs> Half a million dollars. Amen. Probably, Amen. I would say, between three quarters to a half a million dollars. It's most TV stations it's budget. True. It's it true. could be a little less now because people cut back and stuff, but that's about where most budgets are. You know where we are? 90000 a month. Wow. And we just lost the biggest. Uh, everybody knows I used to do the Omega commercial. You know the Omega yes. commercials? Mm -hmm. Well, they had to pull it because their attorney said that... Um, we said some things we weren't supposed to say, not me necessarily, but on that commercial, they made some statements. And so they had to pull the commercial. Well, that was giving the station, and you listen to this, that was giving the station every month, 18 to $26,000. Wow. Every month, we got that. We got it. And that, but when the givers now are gonna have to make up that difference. And so we're trying to figure out other ways to help the station bring things in. But God. Amen. You know He's what? God. I rest in Him. Amen. Amen. Yes, me too. Yes. He's we just rest in Him. Amen. He's do it. Yeah, He's never failed us. He's not ever going to fail us. Amen. 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 So I just, be, just stand on. Yes, I, I, I believe that. And I'm, that's why we're still here as, after many years. We've uh -huh. been already 14 years in Augusta. 14 years. Yes, yes, ma'am. And uh, we still believe in. Yeah. I remember when uh, Apostle uh, Herson and me, we met in Augusta after uh -huh. I don't know how many years. But we we don't say it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you've been here with us. I was, uh, but I was 14 years old when I met him oh, first really? time. Oh, really? Yes. So it, it's not good for you to say when was that. Well, let's see who looking, who's looking better. Uh. <laughs> It looks better. <laughs> yeah, after many years. After yes. Many, many years. Yes. And and I told him how how amazing it is that I'm here sitting in your house drinking a coffee. And I was a little, uh, I was 14 when I met you the first time. How good it is after so many years to see you doing the things of the Lord and being faithful Isn't to God and good. and Praise being God. married, having kids, a beautiful yeah. church. It's insp his life is inspiring. We appreciate yeah, that. Wonderful. Appreciate that. It is. That's appreciate wonderful. That. Well, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. And we've got to be about the Father's business. Amen. What say you? We've got to do. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Whatever. You know what? The I, times we're in. The, the things that I, I just want to focus on is everything you've been speaking about. It's very important that God d does never, he never violates his principles. Amen. Never. And this is his principles. Uh -huh. And so when you believe his principles, there is nothing that can go wrong. That's it. And I've come to the conclusion, and we're preaching in our church, and we've, we're just reiterating every Sunday, religion has gone into our culture and has made us doubt the word of God. That's true. Yeah. That's if, true. You sow, if you sow into the kingdom, you shall reap in the kingdom yes so if you if you sow money you'll reap money yeah if you sow peace you'll reap peace Amen. whatever you give Amen. to god he's going to give it back to you yeah and and just like hannah she was praying for a baby uh -huh. she prayed to the lord she made said a vow. and she made a vow and she said god if you give me a son i will give him back to you the interesting thing about god is that he did not just keep samuel mm -mm. he gave her five more yeah and i believe the principles of the word Hallelujah. and at this in this season the church of God this is what we're coming to your church to preach also appreciate that because we have forgotten that the word of God is true yes my word Amen. your word his word their words other people's words they might fail exactly yeah. but when God says it it's written in this book that's it yes that it cannot fail so Never. whatever you speak it shall come to pass it's true 
I want to mark this scripture. I just saw a scripture right there. I don't want to mm. forget it. Mm. <laughs> <Amazing>. <laughs> Isn't it great when sometimes you just open your Bible and you have scriptures marked and just wow. Oh, wow. Amen. I'll tell you what. Then shall you say, I can go anywhere in your Bible. <laughs> then shall you say to yourself in the Lord that I will cause thee to ride in the high places of the earth. Amen. I will cause you to ride in the high places. If you're riding in the high places, you know what? You're not down on the valleys. Exactly. Amen. That's true. Exactly. It's true. I love that. When you yes, just look and you is. say, almost everywhere she, that's marked in here, you can just find something. Wow. It Amazing. just gives you what you need. Exactly. exactly. But it's in here, just like the, you said. The Bible. It is. It is. We it's, have to go so back you just to rest on calling the Lord. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. That is it. It's simple. And it's settled. That's Jesus it. preached a simple gospel. We yes. have complicated it. Yeah. <laughs> we have. It's true. We have complicated it with all uh -huh. these rules, all these regulations, all these doubts, all this stuff. This is simple. Whatever he says, it's true. Yeah. He says, 2,000 years ago, I died on the cross. I sent my son. He died. So everything that you're going through your body is healed in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. It's simple. That's right. So it, it, it's simple gospel, and we just need to stop letting religion and letting culture and letting tradition and letting doubt and letting our circumstance get into the way of God. You read the word. If the word says it, it's true, and that's it. Don't, ever, don't even think about doubting it. It's there. It's true. That's it. Hallelujah. And this is what we're teaching our church at this moment because people have been so focused on everything else but what the word is saying. Mm. Yeah. And so this is the principles of God. He will never violate his word. He will never go back on his word. So do not fear. Whatever he wrote, that's what it is. That's it. And we stand on solid ground. Wow. You know, I'll tell you, I love what she's saying because mm. too many times we allow all the noise. Yes. Shut off the noise. Yes. He let it come in. Yes. And, Amen. And it distracts you. And then you're not doing what, you, what this says. That's it. But if you do this. Amen. It's done. It's, it's a done. done deal. It's a done deal. Hallelujah. And it'll get you out of every bit of trouble you're in. Amen. I, I, was, I was preaching on, on Sunday morning, and I was saying that God sees his people. He watch over us. And, and even though our nation, nations are going through so many things, God is not in depression. <laughs> God is not afraid. God is not shaking in heaven. Oh my God! Yeah. What's gonna happen? No, He's no. sitting on His throne. Amen. He says, "Will my people come yes. back to me?" Amen. He's Amen. sitting Amen. there, and He's not in depression. He's mm. not afraid. He's not scared of the devil. He's not scared of yeah. nothing. He's just believing in Him. So he, he even said this: "I will do it because I swear on my name." Yeah. Wow. Ooh, isn't that good? Yes, that's. So He gives us promises. So he puts His name on it. Yeah. Say it, the Lord of hosts. They say it, Jehovah God. And when he uses yeah. his names, it's because he wants to let us know, I'm putting my stamp on it. Hallelujah. And if you believe in my word, if you follow my principles, if you sow, you will reap. Like she was saying, if you, if you live a life in righteousness, you will have a good life. I will fulfill the promises that I have for you. One of the things that I was, I was meditating last, the last couple of weeks, and I was praying and I was asking God, God, I know everything we're hearing on the radio, on TV, everywhere. But what do you want to tell me mm -hmm. for 2014? And I heard his voice, and this is for somebody, for somebody and me, a year of fulfillment. Hallelujah. Yeah. A me. year yeah. of fulfillment. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm believing. Amen. I told my wife, we're moving. I'm, I'm moving out of that building. We're getting our plans. We're going to get the school for the kids. We're going to do all these things. It's a year of fulfillment. It's when God takes the time and says, what I told you, here, I'm going to do it now. Wow. I that's what that is work. coming. I take that work. And that's this year. Yeah. This yes. Is my, my year. That's just why. Get all the pots. Exactly. Yes. Because exactly. in the hard times, you'll have what you need. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And gather the also, pots. Also, in September, it started the 5,774. Yes. Which is also means, you know, we know that five means grace uh -huh. and seven means perfection. Mm -hmm. And it's two seven, so it's double perfection. It's when God perfects his grace over us. Wow. And then we have to go back to the book of Genesis. What happened in the fourth day? I don't know. Let me look. Go back, go back. <laughs> Read it out for me and I'll tell you what happened. Because the, the, the Jewish calendar says also that the next two years are going to be the two years of double pregnancy. 
okay. of double blessing. So I am believing God that God is not only going to supply for the ministry, but He's also supplying for my house. Okay. Amen, amen, amen. He's supplying amen. for everything I need and for everything that my people need. Amen. I believe that God this year is taking His time. He has prepared us and processed us to be able to sustain the blessing. Hallelujah. Something heavy is coming Hallelujah. from heaven. Amen, yeah, amen. And we're going to receive it too. Oh, yes. Amen. What happened it. in the fourth day, honey? It says, And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let the, them have signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth and it was so and God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good first principle he separated the darkness from the light mm -hmm. We're going to see the truth Amen. of a lot of people. Yes. A lot of hidden agendas yeah. have been coming out. We're Amen. seeing it. God. Second principle, wow. God set up the sun yeah. by the power of his word. Yeah. And how many years has gone by and the sun is still there? Amen. Yeah. Has not moved. Whatever God told you, his word is sustained by itself. Nobody's going to move it. You will receive it. This is the year that God is going to separate you from every area that it was dark in your light oh. and shine his light over you like never Come before. On, guys. Yes. Wow. Great I receive that God. word. Fourth day. Fourth day. Yeah. Well, we got to get, we have to go, uh, we're going to another dance. It's a prophetic, prophetic minds. Prophetic minds. Okay, we're going to go and then we'll be back with more.
Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we have just a few minutes left, and I have to say this. This is someone who knows the value of Christian television. This person is the gentleman we were talking about who was in the hospital with a death sentence. And look at him. They called and said a $50 one-time gift. Oh, wow. And um, thank you so much, uh, Blaine and Pat. You're just awesome. Putting it on their Visa card. And then we have a person that doesn't want their name known giving $1,000 towards the rent. This has been a part that's been so special. This part has been with us forever. We have a lot of prayer requests here. And um, let's see here. These are all... Okay, I'm going to start lay, laying them out. You're going to pray for <laughs> healing for um, uh, something. Needs good night's rest and needs um, healing. Healing. Here's another one, salvation and healing from fear. Fear is the opposite of faith, yeah, so you well, want to take care of that one. Yeah. Uh, for friends who are genuine and sincere, not just around for what they can get out of you. That's very important. And then here is one that says um, they have pain in their head. Uh, her child... God, you can read this. I can't. Just thank you, Lord, for this. It's from a 601 area. Mm -hmm. So um, they're calling from somewhere. And then this is another one that's a little hard to read, but very serious condition needs healing. So why don't you pray over all those healings? Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. We understand yes. that your word is true. We understand that you are our covering, Lord, with Jesus' name right now. The blood of Jesus is the one who heals us. And in Jesus' name, I command every sickness to come out. I command in Jesus' name that you touch everybody's body in this in this uh, paper tonight that has called uh, to our offices. And I pray that your Holy Spirit right now is ministering to them. And I know that the blood of Jesus is doing the work right now. Your yes. word is true. And there is no doubt in my mind right now that everything is cast out in your name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. Amen. Uh, tell us about this. Yes, this coming uh, Friday, which is uh, tomorrow, we're going to start the Revolution 2013 in, in Oasis Ministries in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, I want to see the address here. It's uh, 3265 Dean Springe Road, Augusta, Georgia, 3906. We're going to have... Um, um, workshops with mimes, dance, leadership, and apostolic impartation and prophetic impartation. You don't want to miss that. It has no cost. It's a free entrance. We want to bless the community. We're coming with an apostolic team from Kissimmee in Orlando area, me and my wife, Royal Generation, to support and, and believe in God for miracles and wonders in, in uh, uh, pastors, angels, and Merari ministries. There's also churches coming from South Carolina. They're going to unite with us on Saturday. Saturday is all day, so you want to come comfortable, bring your note back, your, 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 everything you want to take notes on. We're going to be teaching uh, with no rush, so you are going to be very blessed. The number to call here, Pastor, was 706-793-8600. If you want more information, you can visit the website ccob.cc on the web and you can visit our website also goftb.com and everybody's welcome everybody's, everybody's welcome. welcome is free of cost and we're going to have a free breakfast and a free lunch for a everybody free who comes breakfast and a free lunch that's that's, that's beside of the that's you know beside all the, the word. wonderful teaching exactly that yes. jacqueline tell me why they have the flags and why they do that kind of dancing um, well, each flag and um, ha it has different colors. They have streamers. I mean, they have flags. They have other instruments that they use. But everything represents something different. Um, you know, if it's warfare, healing. Uh, yeah. You know, the colors represent something. It yeah. symbolizes everything. Everything is biblical. Everything is in the Word. So they they it depends on the song and what they're actually ministering to and and who they're ministering to. Right. So it depends what they're doing that they use right. the different colors and different instruments. If they're doing a warfare prayer, it, I mean, they do it flags with flags. the different colors yeah. representing kingdom, warfare, yeah. warfare 
victory. Victory. You know. And then when it's praise to God, it's exactly. It's just it, you know they use different colors: yellow, healing, worship. You know, uh, letting God uh, touch people's hearts. So everything that they use is is, is just represents and symbolizes something that's already in the scripture. And so that's uh, when you go to this conference, you're going to learn a lot about. Yes, we have kingdom. We have uh, workshops on fatherhood, on you know That's because important. very important what's right going now. on, um, and um, apostolic, prophetic intercession. Mm -hmm. We're going to deal with uh, leadership, even basic uh, administration in church, like sound systems. That's so 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 important oh. sometimes in our churches. Yes. you know that's one of the major and causes. And on television. <laughs> yeah. So it's we're, we're going to go take you know what's important in the ministry, but also basic fundamental, you know, administrative uh, things in the ministry. So we have about ten to eleven workshops. Wow. So we're we're going to do an all day thing. This is what God has led us to to help him with. So we're 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 happy and we're excited. We are very grateful that you guys made it here. Right, guys? We're very grateful. Yeah. I'll tell you, I, I, it's, it's amazing because when, when, when me and Pastor were talking, he said, I would love to do something, and, and, and I saw it on his eyes. And, and I said, listen, we're going to make it happen. You don't have to worry about money. Yeah. We're here to help each other and so into your ministry. Work. Um, and I'm coming with a group of people that all they want to 